Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Gaff the Master 974 back again today and welcome to another Source Shorts video. Today I'm going to show how you can add a sort of dynamic skybox swapper feature into your Source 2013 mod. Now I do need to give a massive thank you and shout out to James Can Q4i for the suggestion and to Waddles for providing the code that is going to make this feature work. So what I need to start with with this video is what already exists within Source 2013 and the way that this feature can be implemented. So from what James asked, it's using a convar called sv underscore skyname. Now what this does is it holds the skybox material and you can change this, however it doesn't reflect the change immediately. You need to save the game, reload it, and then you'll see the different skybox in effect. Now, the way that you can make this happen dynamically is, well, there's two things. You either need to handle this functionality on the engine, which you can't do because the engine code's inaccessible, or you need to resort to source code leaks. Now, this is why I say I'm going against my moles when, you know, for the context of this video, because you need to use leaked engine code. So for example, this is a sort of Visual Studio solution that has all sorts of leaked codes, for example, um, Counter-Strike and Lost Coast portal and stuff like that. And also the engine code. So if you go to the engine and the client filter, you'll see this file called gl underscore warp, and you'd see functions like uh, st to vec and uh, Whereas the other stuff are underscore unload skies, are underscore load name skies, and other such stuff. So basically, this file is what we need on the client project to essentially allow the skybox textures to be changed. So I actually haven't loaded up a solution. So just give me one second while I load up a default sort of project that I'm going to be using. For the purposes of this uh, source shorts video, I'm horribly unprepared for this. I am so sorry, but let's just get to the meat of what we need to do. So we need to go to the client project. We need to go to source files, and we want to right click, go add new item. So we're going to add it to the client, and we'll call it something like dynamic sky .cpp. Now, what I'm going to do instead of leaving it down to you to get the leaked code in the first place what i'm going to do is leave a link to a text document that waddles made which essentially includes the entire dynamic sky.cpp file that we're going to use which is actually taken from that file i just told you which was gl underscore warp.cpp so this is why I say I'm going against my moles here. We're using leaked code to make this work. So again, follow this guide at your own discretion. I don't endorse leaked code by any means. So if you want to add this feature, then, you know, just be wary that this is something that we need to do. Uh, but now we can add another item and let's just call it dynamic sky.h. And again, there's just a couple things that we need to have here. Just for the sake of saving time, I'm going to be copying and pasting this from the Google document that Waddles made. But essentially you do hashtag if ndef of underscore dynamic sky underscore h, then you do hashtag define of underscore dynamic sky underscore h, then hashtag pragma once, and then you have void r underscore unload skies passing through void inputs void r underscore load skies passing through void inputs and void r underscore draw skybox passing through an input of a float z far and int n draw flags which equals 63 or hex 3f and then hashtag end it so that is pretty much the you know main bulk of what we need to do just adding this stuff in but now we actually need to implement it in the files that already exist within the client. So we need to go down to viewrender.cpp and we need to go to around line 4847. Uh, under normal circumstances, it's this 
if r underscore skybox boolean check which is inside of the c skybox view curlon curlon setup function so you can find that find this r underscore skybox dot get ball section and then you just want to entirely remove that out of this check so just something like that so you completely remove it and then you want to go up a little bit because this is the uh, C skybox view draw internal function and so I believe it's at this point after the G underscore P client shadow manager and draw world of 0, 0.0 F this is where we actually want to add R underscore draw skybox which actually I need to do something else first I'm skipping steps excuse me we need to go up to the very top up, up top here somewhere and um, do hashtag include of uh, the dynamic sky.h that we added. So you can add that above this hashtag tier zero MDB gone line. Uh, come back down here. So now r underscore draw, draw skybox should be defined. So let's just uh, try that again. Uh, draw, yeah, I might have done it with a lowercase b. You just gotta make sure all the uh, you know capitals and that are in the right places. Uh, but then you just add in view our get z bar like so. Then we need to find an if statement which goes something like m underscore p three. Wait, wait, where is that? Oh, sky three d params. Excuse me. So that's here. Uh, that's in c skybox view colon colon setup. There's if exclamation mark m underscore p sky 3d params and above the return false inside of the if statements you want to do the r underscore draw skybox of view dot z far and then you want to find a ball called whoopsie what am i doing uh control f is what i meant to do it didn't do it apparently uh draw skybox so we need to find a boolean called that uh, that's up here somewhere in where is this view c view render colon colon view draw scene i believe that's this and so we just need to um basically get rid of all of this all of that at least and then set that to be false and then right near the top of the file there should be the r underscore skybox convar definition which is here and you just want to get rid of it and then lastly you want to go to uh, wherever this asterisk p sky view is which is inside of the uh, uh, c view render colon colon render view function so just go down here you'd see this entire section and so before this line you want to add s underscore b can access current view equals true and then after the safe release of p sky view you want s underscore b can access current view equals false then we need to go to c d l l of uh, client int which is this file over here and we need to add in our dynamic sky.h file above the uh, tier 0 memdb gone line so we can just add it up here somewhere so include dynamic sky.h so we can use the r underscore functions that we need to then we need to go to the level init pre-entity function we get the definition up top there but it's actually here and then we need to go to the very bottom of this function, which is all the way down here. After this hashtag end if, we can do r underscore unload skies and then r underscore load skies as such. Then we need to go to the init function. So that's actually going to be up here somewhere. This is the. Uh, Come on, where is it? There you go. CHL client colon colon init. And uh, above this, so probably up here somewhere, doesn't really matter. 
but we're going to add a function called void sv sky change callback if i can actually type and we pass through input of an i convar called asterisk c var then a const chart asterisk and then a float don't ask me about this just do it this way and we're just going to inside of this function do r underscore unload skies and r underscore load skies and then back in the init function we need to go right to the very bottom of this function all the way down here and then above this return true we want to add a static convar excuse me called asterisk sky name which equals c var arrow find var of and then in speech marks sv underscore sky name then if sky name is valid then we do sky name arrow install change callback of sv sky change callback like so and that should be all of the changes that we need to incorporate into this to make it work so let's just wait for this uh, project or sorry what's this oh that's going to be the episodic i believe oh no they, they all failed what what's going on here oh, i didn't mean to click rebuild solution either oh okay this is going to take a little bit okay so it's saying that there's three failed so if you actually build solution again see it's saying there's client hl2 so what's it saying 4839 that's in view render that's up here somewhere so if we go oh you see it's all the way down here so what happens 839 why the hell did it paste that in there like that oh my days it it fucked up okay well, I think I went to do control F and it did control C by accident. So it ended up pasting in something that it wasn't supposed to. Oops. Uh oh, that's not good. And now we've got to wait for even more of the code to compile because I clicked on the rebuild solution option. It yeah, has a complete idiot. That's a completely stupid thing on my end. There we go. One succeeded and two failed. If you want to know what failed, it's because it's the episodic stuff. We've not added single player animation state stuff and this dynamic sky stuff to the client, so it's going to be unrecognized. But we should, in theory, be able to load into a map at this point. Um, it should work. I need to make sure the game capture is coming through okay, which it is. So let's see what maps do we have. We have D2 Coast, or D1 Train Station, 02 Cascaded Shadow Mapping. That's a video I want to do talking about uh, Cascaded Shadow Mapping stuff um and as you can see i've still got the glows and the single player animation state thing means i've got this uh citizen view model suit citizen model or whatever but you see if we do something like sv sky name then it's set to sky day 0101 we can set this to something like i don't know sky wasteland 02 and you see, well you see it's immediately updated the skybox material you know skybox material what's going on with my voice well i know my voice is fucked up and all that but still come on it shouldn't be this bad uh we can change it to something completely different like i don't know so let's see if uh borealis zero one exists and it does and it's kind of surreal to see a, a, a map with daylight lighting with a nighttime skybox it just doesn't really fit but that is something you can do with this feature now. And it uses the SV sky name convar stuff. Now there is one last thing I do want to uh, cover in this video, which is something else that Waddles has provided that you can add if you really, really want to. Uh, so I just need to copy and paste that. Let's add it into dynamicsky.cpp. Essentially what it is, is a it's a con command so instead of SV sky name, you can use sky underscore swap. And you can just take a look through. It creates some stuff that changes the skybox materials based off of, you know, input parameters or whatever. 
Uh, but the really interesting thing you can do is couple this with the alias command, which I've never used in my entire life in the source engine, but essentially you can use it to delay certain commands. So if I go back into this, we can see this function in action. Now I do need to find the comment that Waddle's provided. And let's see if we can actually load up a map like D2 Coast 01, which is the map I wanted to load up initially. And let's see what this ends up looking like. Um, so let's pause the game. I'm going to turn developer off just because of the uh, missing scenes or whatever. It's just the consequence of this default mod project that I've got or whatever. But we want to do alias of P. Then inside of speech marks, you want sky underscore swap. Then semicolon. Wait for, I'm going to say 150. They said 100, but I'm just going to, you know, increase it to 150. Then do P. And then after that, uh, semicolon and then P. So what this should do is cycle through a bunch of different skybox materials, as you can see here. So that's pretty much what this function does. And you can increase or decrease the uh, rate as you see fit. But again, this could be useful for something like a day to night transition. Just cycle through different skybox materials. However, this doesn't do anything to change the lighting of the map or anything like that. But I thought I'd just uh, showcase this. And as always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Oh, come on. Have I really fucked this up? I fucked this up. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I fucked it up. I showed the wrong, uh, the wrong source. Uh, yeah, that's how you know I've not done this for a while. I've just made so many goddamn mistakes with this. But yeah, this is how you add this sort of feature. Let me know what you think. Apologies for my voice screwing up and for screwing up in many different parts of this video. Hopefully it's been good enough for you to follow along with. But yeah, have a great day. Peace out. See you later and I hope to see you for another hopefully better made video than this. Take care out there.